439. Calculate the molality of each of the following solutions, and then we have letter A. So we have 0 0.710 kilograms of sodium carbonate, which is washing soda, Na2CO3, and this is in 10.0 kilograms of water, which is a saturated solution at 0 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we want to find the molality of a solution. There's generally only one formula for molality, and that is this. So I guess we'll start there. Molality, which is known as a little italics M. Remember that capital M is molarity, the one with the R in it. But molality is a small italics little script M. But this just equals the moles of the solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. But the problem here is that I don't know which one is the solute and which one is the solvent. But with the wordings, we can figure it out. Keep in mind that the solute is always the smaller thing. It's usually a solid that is being placed into the solvent. So your solute always goes in the solvent. Now, if we just look at the wording here, we have sodium carbonate, which is in the water. The solute is always in the solvent. So Na2CO3 has to be the solute, and the water, H2O, is the solvent. Now I know the two differences, right? The solute and the solvent. And for the solute, I have to find it in moles, and the solvent just has to be in kilograms. So let's see. The Na2CO3, which they gave us, they gave us 0 0.710 kilograms but I want moles. Now I know that I could always go from a gram to a mole value, right? But the thing is here, they gave me kilograms. So the first thing I would do is I would just go from kilograms to grams of Na2CO3. This is going all the way back, right? Your SI units. If you want to go from kilograms to grams, you would multiply by 1,000. Similarly, you could take the decimal and move it to the right three times. So this is the same as saying I have 710 grams. Now, since I have the gram amount, 710, of the Na2CO3, I'm going to find the moles. Because I need the moles of the solute. Now, going from grams of one substance to moles of the same substance, grams to moles, you always just divide by the molar mass. So in this case, I'm going to find out what the molar mass is of Na2CO3. Periodic table's out. I have two sodiums, and each sodium is 22.99 on my periodic table. I'm going to add one carbon, which is the 12.01, and then we have three oxygens, so three times 16. So 2 times 22.99 plus a 12.01 plus 3 times 16. Everything looks good. And the molar mass is 105.99. So I'm going to take my 710 and divide it by the 105.99. And that will be my moles. Lovely. So maybe I'll say 6.6987, something like that. Now, the solvent, or actually the solute, is done. I have it in moles. The denominator, in order to find the molality, I need kilograms of the solvent. But it's already in kilograms. So we're good with that. So we're ready to do the formula. Molality equals... The moles of the solute, which is 6.6987, divided by the kilograms of the solvent, they gave us 10. And we just plug it in and solve. So this number divided by 10, look at that. We have a 0. Point, uh, I guess we'll do, how many, three sig figs? Six, six, uh, well, that would be 670, because the 8 rounds the 9 up to a 10, which will turn that 6 into a 7. So there is the molality of the solution. 
And that is it. Whoopie whoop. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And check in the description uh, for some l goodies that, you know, we've left you guys. There's links in the description to help you guys in your classes. Um, and you can, you know, spread the word to your friends and classmates. Thank you so much for all your support this far. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Bye-bye.